Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic here with Wednesday's haul. First store that I'm going to do is Dollar Tree. I picked up these. They didn't look like this when I picked them up. And I picked them up not for home decor purposes, but for art mixed media purposes. Um, when I got them, my intent was to cover them with gesso. This is just the first coating and use them for mixed media projects. And I thought that was a, a nice surface to work on. I think it's like a press board or pressed wood. Um, and I think it has a paper overlay, which I didn't realize until I started painting. But like this little edge right here is coming up. So I will make sure that I seal this really well when I get to that state. From Dollar Tree, I also picked up some um, pastel colored paper clips. They're called Afterglow paper clips, I guess. And I got the binder clips also in the different colors, if you can see that. And I also picked up another set of the clear stamps from Do Dollar Tree. So I got all three and I got two more acrylic blocks. I picked up one thing from Walmart and that was this paper pad of watercolor paper. The price was right. I need this for something that I'm working on. So I was in there and I just went ahead and picked that up. Then on to Michael's. Since I'm on the Oddball Art Design team, I'm doing more cards now. So I wanted the heavier card stock in my stash. So I'm already starting to pick up the different colors. This one is the rose petal and it's the 110 pound paper. So I'll, when I don't need to actually go in Michaels and pick up something, I'll be going in to pick up the other colors of this so that I can use a coupon on that also from Michaels I got on clearance this Inka Dinka Do stamp it's a, a birthday stamp um I don't see a title for it but it's just the numbers and fun crazy um designs and yeah I thought it was a decent price. I also picked up some washi. The flamingos got me. I know, I know, I know. It had the flamingos and the um, days of the week and the floral. It just, I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> but I did not pay full price. Never pay full price. So I think they were 60% off. So. All in all, a decent deal. Also, I picked up these misting sprays for mixed media projects. And I just wanted to try the Recollections brand. I think they're new offering this, so hopefully they work well. I don't have that many shimmer sprays, and I really like the lighter colors. So hopefully they are of good quality. And that is everything I have so far. If I get anything else. And I'm going to do a Hobby Lobby haul today. It is mostly paper products because I'm in the process of cutting traveler's notebook inserts to sell in my shop. But these are the papers that I picked up. I got quite a few florals. The paper at this time was 50% off. So I got this floral. I got this tie-dye, this uh, floral with gold foil accents. I don't know if you can see that. It's got that. And this is a repurchase floral. And then I got this floral. And let's see, let's set these aside. I also picked up these vellum sheets that I will cut into double pocket envelopes. See those good? This is what it looks like close up. P 
pink peonies, Bella. And then I picked up this paper pad. Okay, and I, I'm using this thinner paper because when you make the envelopes with cardstock, the smaller envelopes, they get a little bulky. And I found out that the just the thinner um, scrapbook papers tend to work better because it can get, can get too bulky. So I picked this paper pad up with lots of florals. That's really striking. That's beautiful. They have a, a there's a few in here that, oh, that's really lovely. They have a few in here that I don't really care for. But overall, I think they're very nice florals. And not everybody likes the same things. So, but I wanted to start out using, a, using florals for these products. So this is what I'm using. I think this is the only one that I really don't like. <laughs> And now, wow, that's the first one in there. I don't know what it is about that one that I don't like, but I really don't care for it. And so, yeah, I picked that up. And I've already started using this, but I picked up a pack of the Craft 12x12. 12 12. I picked up a pack of the White 12x12. 12 12. All these were 50% off. Again, I hit the clearance section. And I found this spare parts uh, metal letter metal letter R for sixty cents. I picked that up, and I used my forty percent off coupon on this gemstone letter R. And I'm going to show you a little trick in another video on how to make this reusable, so you can use it in different. Um, traveler's notebooks instead of sticking it to in one notebook or having to buy multiple so that you can have one in each of your notebooks so we've got that and then I picked up these two sets of um, these plastic bows they're self adhesive but I thought I would take the adhesive off and turn these into planner clips and they were 120 each picked all of that up and last but not least I picked up this genuine leather journal and it was two dollars and sixty cents and I just thought that was a great deal because I could always replace the signatures inside they had several in the clearance section that were already open this was the only one that was still packaged properly so and this is what the paper inside looks like it's like a linen finish it would be very nice for drawing but again once I filled it I could always take this out and reuse the cover because of the way the binding is so I thought that was a really good deal for two dollars and sixty cents and it says genuine leather this product is handcrafted from Indian Buffalo leather by artisans employed in traditional craft the leather is hand tanned in the villages of India using primitive techniques the paper inside is handmade and eco friendly so that is handmade paper that is really nice I wonder why it didn't sell and it's on clearance but also if you can see it has the, the textured finish on the pages. So, anyway, I thought that was a great buy. I am back with the last bit of Wednesday's haul. I'm going to start with 
Michaels. I finally found this other watercolor set. It's the neutral colors. Um, I haven't even opened it. I saw it. They had several available. I couldn't believe it because I've been checking and checking and checking. And so I grabbed it up. And of course, I had a coupon. I think I used a Joann's coupon for it. So I didn't pay full price. Because they are pricey. So this is what it looks like. So now I have both sets. Now all I need to do is find the time to get around to using them. So yeah, these are the colors on the edge of the box. So I picked that up. That was the only thing that I got from Michaels. From Tuesday morning, I picked up a few things. I found this embossing folder for 99 cents. So I picked that up. I went to a different Tuesday morning. It still had a funny smell in the store, <laughs> but this one seems to be a little neater and have a little more product on the shelves. And then I picked up these two card packs and this one is beach themed i haven't taken anything out i really don't want to take anything out. well i guess i can go ahead and pop them open and show you what is in there these are acetate and i thought these would be great for aren't those nice those would be great for um, using in uh, for journaling if we ever make it to the beach this year <laughs> live in the sunshine this one says memories made at the beach last a lifetime can you see that it's, that one's kind of hard to see then this one has a lighthouse so that's that set then and these, I thought these were a good deal. They were $1.99 at Tuesday morning. Retail for $4.99. I mean, to me, that's not really a great price, but I thought they were nice and different. Crap. So, and then these are like frames that you can use around your photos. So, yeah, those are nice. And then, last pack. This one says, sun, sand, surf, sea. This is just like the sand in the water. It's beach grass beach life cherish every moment and then a heart with stones is that it oh and they are double-sided how nice is that well that's even better so it's got the whitewashed wood Those are really nice. I kind of like the back sides even more. And that. Okay, so I got those. I have to pack those up nicely. Then here's the other set. And I got these because our family vacation this year, we went to DC. And when I saw the, I haven't done my spread yet. I'm, I don't know what I'm waiting on. But when I saw these, I was like, these are perfect. I have to have these. And I saw the DC ones first. Then I saw the beach ones. So this one is just acetate DC. This is just a blank frame. Just got plastic stuck on it. Okay stars liberty and justice flag and this is just decorative 
gold on one side, silver on the other. Those are nice. Then this set. Oh, I guess I could have showed them to you on the back covers, but oh well. You get to see them up close and personal. This is the frame. Another frame. DC. DC. Stars and stripes. Some of these feel extra thick. Frames. It's got the marble on it. And there's that design. So these are really nice. Hopefully they will fit. Here's a traveler's notebook. I might have to hack a little bit for them to fit in a standard size traveler's notebook. But I think I can make that work because that is what I'm going to be doing my journaling in. I'm kind of switching up my planning system, but we'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> um, then here are some more cards. Let freedom ring. Oh, let's look at the back. Okay. The district. I like that. Oh. Oh. That's going to be hard to choose. I like the map. Okay. This cherry blossoms. Is that what those are? land of the free so yep those were an awesome deal I just I hope I'll be able to use them the way I want to because they are a little large but that is everything that I got from Tuesday morning I did get one thing from Target and I picked up this pack of sharpie pens because from I think think I've heard that they write better on the um, Mambi stickers so I picked up some pens to give them a shot I have a fine point pen but I just wanted to try the regular pens and see what they were like because I've never tried them on the Dollar Tree I picked up this pack of metallic color pencils I don't know how they are. I haven't tested them yet, but I will try to post a video when I actually do use them. I also picked up some more of these. This is a repurchase. It's a bold tip gel pens. I like a bold tip <laughs> sometimes. Um, and today I saw these because they have the school supplies out now. So I picked up two of these. They have pink ink. And last but not least, I picked up these cute little pencil sharpeners. I actually got two packs. I got another pack with a blue one and a pink one. And I gave those to my kids. So this one I'm keeping for me. The pink one will stay in here in my office. And then I'll have the other one in the room. So when I'm in there coloring late at night, I'll have a little portable pencil sharpener. and won't have to yell for my son to bring me his. <laughs> So that is it for this Wednesday's haul. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.